what's up guys? My name is AJ. I go by Photo Runner on Instagram. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to order a brand new American Expedition vehicle, Prospector XL. I'm at the very dealer where I bought my 2018 truck and it's Glendale Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. If you need a Ram or a Jeep, this is the place to come. So let's do this. Let's go figure out how to build a brand new truck. Cool. This video is brought to you by our friends at Glendale Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Be sure to hit them up if you're looking for a new or used vehicle to drive home today. Hey guys, so we're here in front of uh, Glendale right now and in front of Jackson's freaking awesome Prospector XL. And I'm actually gonna hand it over to Jackson real quick and have him tell you a little bit about himself. Hey guys, my name's Jackson Ellis. I'm the general manager here at Glendale Dodge Chrysler Jeep. We're a family owned dealership started by my father, Jack, back in the 60s. And we've been serving the LA County, Glendale area for over 50 years. We're an authorized AEV dealer. Um, we sell parts, we sell vehicles, upfits, you name it, we'll sell it. Yeah, man, and this is actually the place that I purchased my uh, 2018 fourth gen Prospector XL. And Jackson took care of me, and man, I love that truck, dude. That thing was so rad. Yeah, you did a lot of nice stuff with that one. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Big question I get is, do these things actually come from Ram this way, or what's the process between Ram and AEV? No, well, Ram builds the truck initially, but the truck goes to Michigan, where AEV's headquarters are, and AEV actually builds these trucks. They have an upfit department. Um, and they basically build the trucks with their bumpers, suspension, wheels, tires, lighting upgrades. So drive I mean, just full, full package. Full package, yeah. Nice, and uh, who is AEV? AEV is American Expedition Vehicles, and they've been around for over 20 years. They started on the Jeep platform. Uh, they, do a little, they do some stuff with Chevy, they do stuff with Rams, and they basically take a good stock vehicle and right. turn it into a more than capable off-road overland type machine cool just and now it's all the good stuff about it. so you tapped into hey they do the truck so either 2500 or 3500 but they also do the jt and the jl j yeah. ah, what is it the jlu jl platform right they're known for the for the jeep wranglers initially but now that there's a gladiator which they had a lot to do with in, ter in terms of inspiration only because they, they came out with the brute years ago Dude. and it, that thing was so rad that was such a cool car right and so that's what they're known for. They're known for the Jeeps, but now these prospectors and the Prospector XLs have taken up and Ram trucks are really hot right now. And yeah, I mean, it's a full size kind yeah, of thing. Just full size blown up. Prospector XL, XL is obviously Roman numeral for 40. You get the 40 inch tires with that particular vehicle, high mark fenders, things like that. Now there is a Prospector. What does that come up and what's different than the 40? So the Prospector is a great package because for the average person that just wants a nice, more than capable lifted truck, it gives you 37s on it. There aren't as many modifications you need to do that you would need to do on an XL. The 37s uh, come with the BFG tires, um, same size, 17 inch wheels, just a little bit more narrow, but doesn't have the intricacies that are involved in the high mark fender flares where we're cutting into the wheel well. They do give you accentuate, um, you know, they do give you larger fenders that come from Mopar, but there's no cutting involved. So it's, it's, a, it, it's a great package for the everyday Kind just guy who just yeah just nice outfitted package yeah. drivability is amazing same with the 40 37 right. still it's just a little bit better because obviously the tires are a little bit smaller yeah so why don't we do this then man why don't we just jump into the front end of your truck here right. um this is a prospector xl this is okay XL, yeah. so tell me about the the fenders and how it matches up to the bumper so it has the high mark fenders on the <clears throat> on the sides here and it integrates into the front bumper and this is a three-piece front bumper so depending on if you get a prospector or you get an xl you'll get a different end cap end cap just to adjust for the extra width that makes sense. but this front bumper is a very heavy duty front bumper it's a lot thicker than the stock one and it's got recovery points mounted into it that are frame mounted very cool so you can put these one inch shackles on. yeah those are massive yeah um it's got 
some Under Armour skid protection here for rocks or something like that, and also some high lift points for jacking up the truck from the bumper, and you know, for whatever reason while you're off road. Killer. Uh, it is capable of a winch. Yep, this is a big boy. Yeah, that this one's got huge. the Warren 16.5 in it. Comes with a steel cable, but AV offers a synthetic line as well. Okay. Yeah, I believe I put synthetic in mine. I just, I just like it a lot better. Um, but it also looks like you can change out the fair lead, which you've done here. Um, looks like we got some lights. These are the, what is this? The Vision X's, right? Yeah, this is a Vision X 30 inch light bar. It's one of the offerings AV has. They also offer uh, their own set of lights, which is a 8,000 lumen waterproof, dust proof. Dude, those things are about the 7,000 series. They're massive. Those are big round ones, yeah. yeah? Yeah, okay. And now I saw those when we were at SEMA. Right. Now I also saw, I think that they're offering from AV is the brush card? Yeah, so later this year they're coming out with the brush guard and that that'll be a larger extension of the bumper okay. uh, more tubing that will allow you to put the lights in there give you protection on the the grill and the headlights and a, a solid mount have solid mounting points here on the side so it's a little so more that'll help carry the extra yes. weight if you did yes. put the, the lights on there okay that's sick um all right so and then underneath i know i had diff covers on my truck it was a fourth gen the fifth gens the gearing diff yeah covers. things are a little different underneath of these new fifth gens so yeah between gearing and uh diff covers they're not quite there yet with it but those should be out later this year okay um, something about a skid plate possibly yeah, they have an intercooler skid plate coming Dude. out for the diesel okay uh, um that that should be available around the corner as well okay so now you mentioned the diesel right, right. so Let's talk about a little bit real quick, just the different trim levels that you can get. So can you start a base like Tradesman and build this thing up? I mean, what's the difference in motor wise and- Yeah, so the nice thing about AV is they, they produce all their products so that it covers the whole spectrum of Ram trucks sure. um, or even Jeeps for that matter. But whether you get a Tradesman with the 6.4 Hemi or you go fully loaded limited with the diesel, 2,500, 3,500, it doesn't make any difference. You, you can outfit the truck, you know, with AV's Prospector or XL package. Dude, that's rad. And then same with the Jeep, obviously. So all the way from like a Sport, all the way to yeah. Rubicon same, same or Jeep. whatever. They do the Wranglers, they do the Gladiators, Sport through Rubicon. Okay. They, I mean, they, they have adaptations for different accessories, depending on if you have the high flares or low flares. I mean, it, okay. they, they and cover then, it all. And then on the Jeep, I just want to touch on this because kind of a question I have for myself, being that I've kind of built my Jeep, you know, with AV products. now. Is it just a JL370 or does do they make different levels of... They have a JL350. Okay, so 35s, I assume? Yeah, that's okay. a 35 inch offering and then the 370 is a 37 inch. And you can do that also on the JT platform as well? Yes. Dude, that's so sick. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, man, I think we should just move around to maybe suspension tire or something yeah. like that and uh, go from there. So as we work our way around here, um, these are 40 inch Toyo tires. This is what comes standard on the Big. XL. <laughs> Huge. You, you can stuff a 41 in here. Yeah. Uh, with the high mark fender flares, you really don't get any rubbing. Um, there is a lot of modification that's involved in the high mark flares. On an XL, guys. This is an Only XL, keep an in XL. mind. Yeah. But the fit and finishes you can see Dude, is so good. Top notch. Um, these are the 17 by 10 Catla wheels. It's a wider wheel. They, they do offer the same wheel in you know, a narrower size for the prospectors and you can also get a Salta HD rim, which yeah. is a different style. Both wheels are freaking amazing. Those, this is personally my favorite though. Yeah, the, I mean, you can't go wrong with this setup. And one of the nice touches that they do is they clean off the in, inner linings here and really clean up the look in here so you don't see all the... So to that point, this is kind of what sold me on the truck itself when I bought mine is that the fact that you can come to the dealership, purchase a truck like this and just make it look, or I guess they make it look like it's a factory vehicle, it sold me like this, this is just rad. I just love this option. So um, what about, yeah, what else? I mean, does- Well, so this is well, this is some of the branding that you get when AV builds the trucks. You get the uh, their, their logos, the Proc Spectre XL designation. You get a windshield banner up here on the windshield and a couple other goodies, okay. but- um, They'll do it in either black or chrome, depending on what kind of package you have on the truck so that it all flows. And that's something that you would get from obviously the min midnight, was it midnight? Did night. I get that right? Night Damn, edition. I do that all the time. Yeah. Okay, night edition, night edition, we'll get you the black headlights right. and things like that, but that's from Ram. AAV doesn't do that. They just, what you're telling us is they kind of match from yeah, the chrome. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, these limited. are little attention to details that they pay attention to and give it, give okay. it a nice look. All right, so on my truck, I know it was extremely hard to get on or get on, get up. I guess you could say. Uh, what did you do to yours, or what options are available well, now? With the fifth gens, Mopar came out with the power deployable running board. So this one has 
Okay, okay so, so like the amp powered. research. Yeah, they're just yeah. like the amp research. Okay. These come from the factory. AV does still offer the amp research ones or any of the Mopar offerings. Um, and they can install it there. Yeah, they can install it there in Michigan and accommodate it in any way. That, that's an easy upgrade. Very cool. And keep in mind, you guys, um, if you saw my video previous, this is not a rock rail. This will definitely bend. So don't use those as a rock rail yeah. because they will just get destroyed. De so, definitely not. Yeah. So uh, let's go to the back, man. Yeah, so this is AV's rear bumper for the Ram truck. Cool. It's Dude, got this, this heavy duty tubing. We were waiting for this for a while. Oh, man. For yeah. a while. Because we it, both had fourth gens. Yeah, they debuted this a few years ago and it was kind of, you know, it, it took some time to get out, but the finished product looks amazing. Dude, it's so sick. I love and it. These also have frame mounted recovery points in the back. You can hook up the anchor shackles yeah, back here. Yep. It retains all the factory tow components, all the electrical, the hitch, um, the park sensors. Everything is fully functional the way it came from a stock bumper and AV just replaced it with this more than capable heavy duty one. Very cool. And you'll notice that it's angled, gives it a little higher. Clearance. Yeah, here on the corners, right? Like yeah. this is kind of giving it more, more clearance yeah. for sure. Now, question for you. I know, I mean, you're a dealer. Can you order this for any truck? Any 2,500, 3,500 Ram? Yeah, so we can order, we, we can, we stock these in parts. Okay. Um, I think I have it installed by you and- Yeah, we can install them. Bolts front, right on? Front and rear, no problem. And it bolts pretty, just, yeah, pretty much. Get it on there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. In the front, obviously. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Um, let me see. What else do we got back here? So we got one of little, the, oh, more, go yeah, more, more badging here yeah. inside. Uh, one of the things that they offer. Uh, for oh yeah, mounts. you have the tire mount. They have a vertical tire mount in the back here. And that basically puts that huge 40 inch tire up up against the back rail it gives there. you more room yeah they also offer a horizontal one. and that's the one that just yeah it's flat in the bed takes up a little space but it's great for a customer that has a tonneau cover or you know gotcha and that's what i i saw i had the flat one but then i ended up putting a bed rack in there which got it out of the way a little bit too right. um, but they didn't have that available when i had mine so that's right. definitely and, a cool new feature yeah and the nice thing too is the av designed the the bracketry behind it to accommodate many campers so most most brand campers this will still fit in there there might be some modifications needed, but as you can see, this GFC camper has it on there, but the GFC camper does not yeah, come from AEV. You, yeah, you uh, put that on, right? Yeah. yeah, so just so you guys know, this camper is not from AEV, um, but Jackson can get them, and if you order a Jeep, or, or I should say truck, not Jeep, uh, vehicle from him, he can actually order you. Yeah, we can. Yeah. We'll figure, they can figure it out, definitely. So, um, cool, let's walk around, let's talk about suspension. Both the XL and the Prospector come with a three inch dual sport suspension. And the dual sport implies that you can take this thing off road on any type of trail, Dude, anything, beat it up, anything. And then you'll get back on the freeway and you'll have the best ride home yeah. because it is completely smooth. It rides great. It handles great. Dude, three, three inches, three, inches. three, this, this is three inches in here, this. That's insane, dude. That's yeah. like so big. Well, and part of that is thanks to the high mark flares in the back. Okay. But I mean, they managed to stuff such a large tire with just a small amount of lift. Right. And it's it's based the geometry. They retain the factory geometry on the truck, so the roll center of gravity, all of that, that is kind of manipulated to make the truck think it's full of stock. Gym. That's insane. It utilizes all the uh, um, the factory springs. Right. They change out the shocks, but the uh, the keeping the springs in there, there's so many different configurations from the factory that rather than mess with that and screw up any payload or tow capacities, they left it and just changed the socks to the 51. And so, and this shock particularly, I mean, it's the same dual sport, not the same obviously, but it's a 5100, yeah. um, it's tuned by AEV and you find this also on your JL370 and three, or I guess 350 yeah, packages so as well. Yeah, they use the 5100s um, on all their product line and they're, Later this year, they'll have the 8100s for somebody looking for extra dampening and a little more performance. That, sh that should be a pretty beefy shock. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be rad. One oh. thing to touch on interior-wise, uh, AV does offer leather options. So yes. like I was saying, you can get any trim level you want in the Ram lineup. If it comes with cloth, AV's got a leather option available and even a Cordura, uh, half Cordura, half leather option for somebody looking for, for something the truck? a little more durable. Yeah. Oh, sick, okay, yeah. that's dope. And uh, you can get that on the Jeep or the Ram. Okay, and then obviously, if I remember right, my headrest was embroidery. The, the yeah. gauge cluster had some some differences in it. 
Yeah, so that kind of goes with their branding and the emblems they, and decals they have on the outside. They do some nice Ooh. finishing touches on the inside. Yes, dude. Okay, let's talk about that real quick. Cause this is something for me guys that like, I thought was really special is I love that AEV I guess plates or plaques or I don't know yeah, what they this is serialize called. it. They serialize these uh, trucks and Jackson, I believe. So this, if I'm reading this correctly, Jackson has like number 14 of 2020, but I don't know that little plaque right there, man. And like, let's like the small brandings that you can't purchase separately is so special to me. Like the banner sticker, you guys ask me that all the time. How do I get the banner sticker? You can't, how do I get the badges? You can't, you have to order the truck from an AEV authorized dealer to get those particular pieces. And, that, and that's one of those. And, it, and as long as AEV builds it with their package, that's how you can get it. And yeah. it's a nice finishing touch to their package because it's also what helps you with their warranty which on a truck like this you get a three year 36 000 mile warranty much like you would from ram so av backs it up 100 percent with all of their components and if there's an issue they stand behind it dude that's awesome that's yeah. so awesome and that's dude that's another selling point for me on getting the truck when i did is because I know it may sound silly, but for me, I'm, I, time is money. I don't have time to go mess with these trucks anymore and I can roll up to the dealer, come see you or you know whatever and purchase a truck like this and just drive off and go anywhere. Let's see this, man. What, you want to touch on the Jeep real quick? Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Walk me through it. So this is an Eco Diesel. It's a uh, it's called the JL370. This one has their 37 inch tires on it, has the Bora 17 inch wheels. In the back here, it's got the rear bumper with their tire carrier, which is like a Swiss Army of Knives type tire carrier. Yeah, yeah. All I need to get that cool for my stuff. Jeep, dude. They, uh, they have a fuel caddy on it for 20 gallons of fuel. This one has their two and a half inch dual sport suspension. And then as we make our way up in the front here, this one is their RX front bumper. This is kind of like a stubby bumper, yeah. more for um, rock crawling types stuff this is their these are their led lights that you can also get with the ram trucks um you can put a worn winch back in in this bumper as well it's got led light bar lighting underneath and uh a skid plate for very similar traits as you know, yeah, shared between same, both platforms same recipe you know yeah. just different components obviously but the nice thing about AEV is that they spend a lot of time and energy with the research and development side to make this all their products fit perfectly on the platform and they crash test you know they, they're one of the only aftermarket companies that actually pay attention to the crash ratings and may, and to the same standards as other manufacturers like ram or jeep do all right man so we both know that hopefully i will be ordering a new truck from you uh quite soon so how would one do that what's what's the order process of ordering this really freaking rad truck so there's a few ways uh the most common one is we'll have someone do a custom order through ram Okay. where we build out the truck exactly how they want it from Ram. 2,500, 3,500, whatever they want. Laramie, Tradesman, Bighorn, sure. uh, any configuration. You can do the air ride suspension. You can oh. get a long bed. You can yeah. get a mega cab. We, we put it together exactly how the customer wants it. And hold on, hold on real quick. I know we're talking about the ordering, but, and the warranty sticks with any of the levels of, of trucks. Yeah, so Ram's gonna back up the warranty on the Ram components and AV backs up their products on the AV components. Okay. They almost mirror each other. And AV gives you a three or 36, just like the factory would. So Dude, that's so it's, rad. It's all in sync. You can take it to an AV certified dealership. It's, it's a pretty smooth process. Okay. And you can even take it to a non-AV dealer. It might take a little bit longer, but if you're stranded out in the middle of nowhere, I mean, there's there's warranty ways to you know get AEV involved in okay so we've ordered the truck ram has it where we where, what happens next? so once ram completes it it'll go directly to AEV in michigan they'll it'll spend maybe a month or two there it'll get all the everything that you ordered on the truck they send it back to us and once it gets here we'll go through all the financing options or like a normal out. vehicle purchase yeah yeah uh, and, and <clears throat> at that point whatever incentives the truck has or the jeep has we offer that to the customer as well. They qualify for everything that Jeep or Ram are offering incentive-wise. Okay, cool. Um, and there's no right time to buy it. Like obviously, no, you I don't mean, know special like magic ball of when you're gonna get these incentives or. No, we yeah. find out at the beginning of the month, and sometimes it changes halfway through. And okay. yeah, All right, so. But the nice thing is whether it's financing, leasing is not very common on these yeah. just because of all the extras, but. Financing's popular and you, you can get all the great rates that you would normally would. Or just come in and just drop a big bag of cash. Yeah. Jackson likes that too. So, you know. <laughs> um, 
But well, another option yeah. someone has if they already have a RAM, we can send it out to AV and get it upfitted for them. You know, so okay, it doesn't have to be custom ordered. Gotcha. Okay. And another thing, we stock a lot of these. Right. We'll put orders in that aren't attached to anybody's name, and we'll get them here on the lot. We've got. Stock you stock the vehicles, is what you're saying? Yeah, so you'll order stock. a truck just to get on stock for the floor. Yeah, we will divert it I mean, over there without a custom yeah, name on. Got a ton it. of them here. Buy it right out of inventory and not have to wait. Okay. But if there's a particular package or option you're looking for, then you do the custom order. Dude, that's rad. And then from the parts side of things. We can sell parts over the counter. We can install things in service for a customer that wants to just either do it themselves or yeah. just, you know, kind of piece it all together over time. Dude, that's awesome. And with that, you get a year long warranty. You do? Yeah. Oh, from you guys or how does that work? It's an AV's, uh, AV offers a one year warranty on the parts and we offer a warranty on the on the part that we do. That's cool, man. That's really rad. That, I didn't know that. that uh, good, the more you know. Uh, cool, well, I think, I mean, dude, I think that's it, right? I mean, we built the truck, we've got it here, yeah. we've got the financing. Dude, but I it, appreciate it. E it's an easy process. And yeah. for anybody that has questions on it, they can contact me directly. Okay. Um, we got our website that has all of our inventory on it all the time. Cool, we'll Under link DVD. that. Com. We'll link that below and everything like that. That way you have all the correct information for Jackson. But dude, thank you so much for like having us here and yeah, kind of going through the out. process. Yeah, us too, man. So uh, yeah, did we do this? Is that okay? All right, cool. <laughs> All right, you guys, we'll see you next time. Have a good one. So, there you have it. That is how to order a brand new truck. So, if you have any questions or anything like that, we'll link everything down below. Um, really appreciate you stopping by, checking out the channel, checking out the videos that we have. Stay tuned for next week. Um, hit that subscribe button if you want to hang out a little bit more. Hit the notify button so you know when we post up a new video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good one.